referring to uh, jokes. Uh, there have been a jokes uh, being made. Uh, we all laughed them, uh, about it. Uh, even if it was slightly offensive, uh, we still laugh, laughed about it. Uh, even uh, stuff like uh, Gabriel Iglesias' uh, fluffies. The gift basket, which also involved uh, G. Riley, where uh, Gabriel did uh, gave uh, G. Riley a gift basket, which uh, stereotypically what a black person might like, and uh, it was all the joke, and then. Uh, People started giving uh, Gabriel uh, Mexican uh, gift baskets, uh, what the Mexican people might like. But she was all in uh, just for as a joke, and it was nothing uh, too offensive. And But everyone got along, and there was nothing uh, too much of a big deal that... Of course, uh, there have been jokes uh, that uh, people will say offensive things, uh, racist, uh, racist uh, terms, and then they will, when uh, the person reacts, they will say, "I was just joking." Just, jeez, why are you so serious, serious about it? Like, jeez, get over it. In which uh, it's uh, that's done by people of uh, different races, uh, which they will not understand that uh, this kind of uh, terms, uh, the kind of actions that they are making can be offensive to uh, other kind of pe people, which in their culture or their uh, in their country, it is an offensive uh, way of uh, talking to them and uh, that's uh, very offensive and uh, should not be said and uh, that uh, people are uh, labeling people as woke these days which is a new generation uh, term Which, assuming that people are just too sensitive over things, and of course, uh, they're using snowflake as another term. They will uh, say offensive things or even uh, threaten other people and uh, say, Oh, I was just joking with you. And, and well, some people. Uh, when it comes to like racist jokes or offensive jokes or like you know that jokes they'll have a laugh for it uh, but uh, some people uh, when they may have experienced uh, a lot of uh, racism or uh, sexist or religious or other problems in, uh, that affect their lives uh, including on uh, Also, uh, trauma as well. So, you know, people, as a person now who has them, um, uh, and uh, if you're uh, been a young child, uh, you may have uh, dealt with uh, violence uh, at your household, and uh, maybe you have been threatened, uh, you may have been abused. Uh, Neglect, and you may have been uh, have, have to uh, try to uh, thought about maybe uh, thinking of suicide. Maybe your parents are divorced, or one of them, or both of them, are in a jail, and or uh, you have been adopted, or there have been a lot of uh, family issues uh, at your house and.
and also adds on to a lot of our stress, uh, which of course uh, reduces a lot of opportunities. Uh, which also uh, affects your health as well, and uh, you may uh, end up uh, living in uh, poor racialized uh, neighborhoods as well. And can also uh, lead to addiction. But this is why we see people who are maybe smoking or doing drugs or they're, you know, they go out to a bar or buying alcohol and, uh, they drink too much or they you know, do drugs too much or smoke too much. Can lead to a chronic illness. Uh, and if they want to like uh, express themselves, they're going to have like difficulty expressing this to people. And with all that abuse and fear, uh, Especially with uh, offensive uh, jokes people make, and that uh, they think, uh, oh, it's done something that they could, that could, oh, it's uh, those those people uh, will get over it. It is not something uh, that can, can just uh, can just be waved off, and there could be like a lot of warning signs that uh, this could happen. And how you associate with other people that can also affect your friendships, relationships uh, with your family or people you may be uh, married to or uh, dating. Or you could be working with uh, you could also get uh, also, other kind of uh, medical uh, problems, uh, including PTSD, which is a long term condition, which uh, involves uh, trauma. And it's not something you can just, you know, you can just cure. And if someone said, Oh, I will kill you. Uh, and if uh, those uh, people uh, who have been uh, experiencing abuse uh, and uh, neglect at uh, home, or even uh, as an adult, uh, they could uh, be uh, experiencing those. And they're scared about it, and uh, they're afraid to uh, reach out for help, because uh, a lot of people uh, who have been... Uh, Enduring all this uh, stress and they're scared and they want to reach out for help, but they don't know how to. If someone were to actually uh, say such a thing uh, to someone, it'll just uh, be like a flashback. Think about it. This is why you need to be very careful about what you say to other people. And also the usage of, of uh, social media, it's uh, easier for just about anyone to uh, say this kind of stuff, stuff even uh, through uh, private messages and um, where it uh, could be uh, generally hard uh, for people to uh, get detected uh, saying these uh, offensive uh, words. Uh, So you have to be really uh, be careful with uh, what kind of uh, words you're saying because uh, you could uh, just be making someone uh, else's uh, life uh, even worse. Uh, and it can just uh, make you uh, a bad person. So, 
be very tolerant and avoid uh, using uh, such words and uh, such actions. You don't know uh, who you may be affecting. So if you also have uh, noticed that other people are saying such things to uh, uh, certain people, speak up, help report this on social media and tell the person not to. Because you don't know what the other person is going through. The person who is uh, getting targeted. So be tolerant. You can also uh, look up uh, childhood trauma. And maybe if you're the one who is uh, being targeted by such people who are making death threats, uh, jokes, and uh, they uh, want you to, oh, you're, uh, you're being uh, overreacting. It's just a joke. If, if it really causes uh, you to um, really put you in a bad place, you can always, uh, if you're a minor, you can uh, notify Kids Help Phone at 1-800-668-6868. Or text uh, 6868 or uh, kidshelpphone.ca. Uh, or you can uh, call the National uh, Suicide and uh, Crisis Lifeline, which is a uh, number is uh, 988, which will uh, direct you uh, right away, just like we have 911. And uh, also, you could also call their other number, 1-800-273-8255, which is a uh, suicide prevention uh, number. If you're listening to Logic's uh, song, uh, which he did with uh, Alessia Cara and uh, Khalid, yeah, don't listen to the song. Call the number. I have also had a uh, very uh, uh, other people actually uh, fact checking this with me, so uh, you can also uh, contact uh, the JED Foundation uh, website. Uh, just uh, type uh, the JED Foundation, and uh, you could. Uh, that's the current uh, website that is, uh, you can use as uh, an alternative for loveislouder.com, which uh, that website under construction, so you can also utilize that uh, website down below. So don't let uh, people. Uh, get away with uh, these uh, death threat uh, jokes because uh, what uh, they think is okay is not actually okay for other people and it can be a cultural thing or they are also uh, undergoing a childhood trauma or uh, also uh, just regular trauma or other mental health problems and these people who are trying to do make these offensive jokes, they need to understand that this is a serious uh, thing we're talking about here. So. so, we got your back. There's always uh, someone out there uh, who is uh, willing to talk to you. You just need uh, right resources.